Hello and welcome. As you can see in the previous previous video, we designed uh, the admin template here. So what I did is I just did a little bit of customization. You know, the source code is available on the GitHub. You can find it there. So I removed some of the extra menus. So here is what we have. In this video, we are going to learn how you can use nested uh, nested routing in Vue.js. So here is the the problem, and here is the example I'm going to show you. If I go to the source going to uh, opening up that view here we have a router view here so this is going to be for the front end it means if someone is going to the admin directory it is going to display the whole content instead of the router view here so if I come to my admin template inside the admin template we have another menu here so whenever I click on the overview it should uh, open the overview component if I uh, click on the products com menu it should open the product component so this is going to be nested routing in Vue.js so if you go to the your documentation and search for nested here is I think the nested routes here so going to the documentation I know how you can fix this issue but I will walk you through how you can fix the issue of nested uh, route here so here is how you are going to do let's say let's find another example let's say uh, this is going to be uh, your route if that is going to be user you have children of that one and this is the user component and it has children and children also have a path as well as the component that's all if you want to have another one just put another one here and all of them is going to be the third parameter for the for the route you have here this is for the user and then you can you can pass it so let's do it by practical uh, I copy this this portion of the code which is the view router and coming to the admin that view I will paste it in the component section so if I come here this uh, in the content section so here is what we have dynamic if someone click on here it is going to populate the data here dynamically so I will remove this portion of the page which is the container maybe some components do not have containers so we can put that inside the component I will uh, save the file for now it does not happen anything so let's write the component for overview I will come here now coming to the components I am going to open the component hello world as always this is the example component I will save us the same page and the going to the view component let's see this is going to be overview that view js so here is the file and of course I will change this to overview and as well as the class you don't need to but sometimes you might uh, need to do some custom design that's why it is good to give them a name so this is fine for now and I will just write a little h4 of overview page so we know that in which page we are also it should be inside a container so I will come here and this is it now I want to define our route so if I come to route.js by default we have one which is home this here is about and here is here is the admin and here is the about so which component or which route is going to have the child of course the admin so if the admin has you can put comma here and you can write children and it is going to accept an array of other routes so the other routes are also uh, the, the structure is also going to be the same let's say you have the home here this is going to be the URL where you are going to send them so which URL go, you are going to send them you will write it here and that is of course overview if someone go to overview and we are going to give this route a name of overview and this is going to display the overview component overview which we did not define yet so if I scroll to the top here is the admin I will duplicate this line and we say this is going to be the overview and here is the component selecting yeah everything is just fine so let's save our file we saved it and I'm going to the admin and update the routes here here is the overview and instead of anchor tag we have router link 
as you can see it didn't update down there so you have to copy the link or you can write it sometimes it cannot copy down here so you if you save the file and coming to our component if you click on the oops it does not show here why here is the overview router link it is not showing anywhere so if i come to the compilation here it did compile successfully but it is not showing here so what is the problem let's open the console here so we have three errors if i inspect element coming to the errors it is going to say missing props no props to which one component have the props so if i go to the components here we can notice that we didn't put the two props here for the router link of course two is going to say where you want to go so what is going to be the reference it is going to be let's say admin and then overview right so if i save it for now let's come to the application here we don't have any error i think it didn't compile maybe it did so if i refresh the page this time let's see i hope we don't have any error yeah it displayed the overview we do not have any error if i click on the overview it is going to the overview and it does not display anything here so if i inspect element again let's see what is happening here is this displaying the proper component or not so coming to the body no it does not let us go it goes to admin overview and it does not display anything here so what is the problem so if i go to the code here whenever you define the child component do not put the slash here you remove this slash do this is uh, optional for the admin also it is going going to work if you remove them but sometimes it doesn't so if i save it for now i will show you one of the problems that arise later so for now if you save the component here let's say yeah now it doesn't work for the original one that's why you have to put for the admin so this should work if you save it this time it is working just fine this is the parent component and for the child you don't have to put the slash here so this is fine for now and it works just fine so what if we have the other one let's say for the product so if i come to the admin of course the product is going to be similar so i will remove the anchor tag from here and we say we have router link here and it is also going to and let's say going to the admin what if you don't put a slash here and you have products so this is this the url that they are going for now i will remove this slash also uh, whenever you forget this one you will see the error so you save it for now it works just fine if you click on this one oh see the, the problem it is going to the same page and it is going to append admin and overview at the after that route that's why whenever you define it here make sure you put the slash here so it should take the current directory you save it this time i will come back and this time i will refresh the page so that it take all new information if you click on the overview it is going overview product admin product for the product we do not have the component yet so i will come here i will duplicate the overview component and we give it products that view and this is going to be the products page oops and of course you can give them the same class products so yep small for this one and you save it for now but you have to include it in the route also coming to the route this is going to be similar all you have to do is duplicate this one and put a comma to separate the other one and you can see this is going to be products and this one is of course the product component so this is going to be the path and this is going to be the route name route names are useful in the future when we can change the url by their name that's why i give the name for now we didn't use the name that's why you have to write them so in later you can make use of them and now this is going to be products.view if i save it for now display everything is working just fine and that's it like if you go to overview this is displaying overview admin admin 
this is because we have of course if I go to the home page we have another routing here for the product that's why if I come here that's why we have to have the admin one going to the admin it is working just fine so that's it for this video and in the next video we will prepare the login for the home page we will have a login model here so that we can log in using firebase authentication but if you need a bonus on watching the video what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a little bit so for the overview I'm going to display a little graphic here feel free to close the, the window if you don't want to watch but I'm going to go to Andro there is a website called Andro they give you free SVG and they are very nice and you can use them in your pro and your page anywhere so coming to the let's say overview I will design for both of them so this is going to have an intro section and this is going to be of course in a row col hyphen md hyphen let's say for six, six for now i hope you don't have any issue with bootstrap designing so that's it and we give an h3 of here is the h3 we have copy this one and paste it here for the second one we will use the spg and of course we can write a little bit description here so that we can say that this product page has a description and here i will display this pg so coming to andro here is where you can browse going to illustration here are so many and i will use make use of the search and i will search for overview oh maybe we do not have anything for overview but this is looking just fine i think i will download this one and it will download an svg file as well as for the product it will make the design and look and feel of your website look a lot nicer so for the product i think this is nice maybe any other one or this one i will download this one and this is uh if i go to the download these, these are the svg files i cut them coming to desktop view and our shop going to the public we have an image folder here we have an SVG here so I will paste it here and the first the first one I will give the name I don't know which one was yeah this one is the product mm, okay and yes oh we already have a product here that's why I have to give it uh, let's say we give it a plural name products and we will use that one and this is going to be overview so this is for now uh, fine for now and coming to here we will use img and img hyphen fluid which is make which makes your image responsive in bootstrap 4 and we go to image directory svg and we have overview svg if we save it for now coming to our application let's see how it looks this is how it is going to look I think it is nice when you have it when you don't have any product before you have any product you want to display something like this maybe the spacing from the top should be also uh, something very important I will fix that for now but if you don't know how you can give them a little spacing maybe this is the right time you can give a height of 100% for this one and for all of the above component above node here arrays uh, this row is also going to have 100 height so if you save it now in bootstrap 4 in bootstrap 4 you can say justify content center also you can give the class of align item center it is going to display all the the data horizontally in the center of the page so this is what we want i think it is looking just fine for this one and the for the product we are going to duplicate the same thing every page maybe they have intro section you can maybe you can have a separate component for the intro but lazy me i didn't do that and i'll paste it here except for this line which we are going to replace it this is going to be the product page as well as the image we have here 
so this is going to be products you save it for now this is the overview for the overview page this is oh, overview for overview and this is the product page it looks beautiful i think so i hope it has been informative for you you have any question feel free to ask below the video thank you for watching